Okay, let's start. Uh, so this tutorial will be actually dedicated for a problem in our class. Uh, we have to simulate a transistor from Infidian and uh, design the match network for it eventually. So for, for the first part of the problem, it's very simple. We only have to simulate the current voltage relationship and also get the fundamental uh, circles like the noise figure circle and the gain circles. This is the first part. And in the future, we are also going to determine the best uh, gamma S and gamma L for your design. And then you have to design the match network. And eventually, you, you've got to complete the design uh, through homework series and uh, make it probably part of your project. Okay. And uh, uh, so if you go to actually Blackboard, I have already uploaded the model of the transistor we are going to use uh, for this semester. So the transistor is from Infineon. It's called BFP740 uh, with ESD capability. And uh, I also will upload the data sheet of this transistor to Blackboard so that you can uh, get more information about it. And for the project design, we, we will be given either this one, uh, uh, both, actually both, both BFP740 and BFP720 uh, for your design. And you, you can choose whatever you want. And uh, a nice thing for this transistor and for the company is actually Infineon has a lot of application case study based on the transistor we are using. So you really have to go to this website. I also uh, put this website link on Blackboard. You have to go to this website and uh, uh, just browse through and see some application case studies. Those, see, here we have a 5 to 6 gigahertz LNA design, right? Those applications will definitely help your design. And if you, are, if you are lazy enough, you can actually get a lot of design with design parameters, component values, and uh, transmission lines from, from the website. Okay? And uh, uh, here we are going to cover the basic setup for simulation of IV curve and the circles. And on the next page of the PDF document you have, you actually have a AWR guide, which uh, which is kind of simple step to step uh, setup for the simulation. So I'm gonna do here on my software uh, first. I have to create a new project, of course, and I can save it as maybe save it later. All right. And the next thing is I have to import the import the model of the transistor we are going to use into the software. And in, in order to do this, you have to download this, uh, download the model from website. Then you can save it to a folder, to a location that you know, like I saved it here. And uh, you have to unzip it. And if you unzip this model file, you can see it comes along with a lot of files. Most of them are S parameter files. Those are for linear simulation, microwave small signal design. And there is another file, underscore MWO, that is for AWR IV curve simulation. And that, that is more like a nonlinear model. So uh, the company provides two types of model. For S parameter, it's linear because it doesn't, uh, once you are given the operating point, the S parameter is fixed, right? It doesn't change. But for the nonlinear model, it models different current and voltage relationship, okay? And also, the company gives us the ADS model, but we don't need to use it. We use AWR. So the first thing I have to do is I go to Project, Add Schematic, Import Schematic, and I go to the folder with the with the Infineon transistor model, and I choose this underscore MWO <coughs> dot schematic. And after that, the schematic is import, uh, imported. And from the screen, you can see uh, we have a core transistor, and we have parasitics to model all the parasitics of the package, right? 
And in order to use it for our simulation, we can first uh, create a new schematic for my simulation, and I'll call it IV simulation, IV relationship. Create a schematic, and next I go to the element, tab here, element, and uh, from the element tab, I have a component named as sub-circuits, right? And under sub-circuits, as <coughs> we can see, the model is already here. So I simply need to drag it into my IV, sim IV curve simulation schematic. And pretty much that's it. That's the model representing the Infinium 740 transistor. And uh, in AWR, it's very nice that we have measurement device that can help us to measure the IV curve, right? So we go to measurement device, IV, and I choose IV curve 1, which is designed for BJT transistors. So now what else shall I do? I have to add a ground, right? So how can I add a ground if I don't see it from the list here? Control G, okay, thank you, great. So you guys are doing much better than me, okay. And now I make a connection from the base to the step input, right? And I make a connection from the collector to the sweep. Okay. And I save this project class demo spring 2013. And uh, let me so if I want to do simulation, then what, what's going to be, generally speaking, what's going to be the next step? I have to add a graph, right? So I can go to uh, project, add graph, and it's going to be a rectangular graph for IV relationship, and I call it IV curve. Click create, and uh, I right click, Add new measurement, and this is a nonlinear model for IV curve. I have to choose nonlinear, and choose current, and from current I have IV curve, right? And here I have to make sure the data source should be my IV schematic, all right? And plot all traces, use for x-axis, looks good. So click OK, and now I run simulation and it gives me IV curve. But this probably is not what required on the homework. So what we can do is, according to the requirement of the homework, we can change the sweep step size, right? We can change, if we want to sweep from 0 to 5 volt with a step size of 0.2 volt, and uh, for the current, that is for the bias voltage, okay, <coughs> of the BJT transistor. And for the current, I can simulate from, this is the base current, so from 0 milliam to 0.1 milliam, step size of 0.02 milliam. You have to set those numbers according to the requirement of the uh, problem, right? Okay, and run simulation again. And see, now we have a plot from 0 volt to 5 volt, okay? And the different curves correspond to different uh, base current, right? Bias current. And uh, the x-axis corresponds to the bias voltage from the collector to the emitter. Bias voltage, we sweep it from 0 to 5 volt. Okay. All right. So you have to, based on the requirements of the uh, homework, you have to set up your the appropriate current and the voltage for a sweep. So the, the, very simple, this is for IV curve simulation. And the next is about the circles. So in the homework, we have to simulate noise figure circle and also the gain circle. And for the gain, remember that in AWR, we are actually correlating gamma S with the, max, the available gain, right? Slightly different from our 
uh, lecture notes, but that that is fine. So I what I I have to do is this kind of simulation is based on S parameter linear model. I have to add data file, import data file, and go to the model of the transistor, and from there those S2P means two port S parameter. Those are linear models. Okay, so I choose, for example, 4 volts and the 30 milliamp current as the operating uh, operating point of the transistor. So on the file name, you have different operating points: 4 volts, 30 milliamp, 4 volts, 25 milliamp, or 2 volts, 51. Uh, uh, 550 milliamp, right? So different operating points. So let's say if we want 4 volts, 30 milliamp, I choose this data file. It's imported, and I have to create a new schematic for this kind of circle simulation. I call it uh, circle. Create. And again, I go to element <coughs> tab, and uh, from sub-circuits, now we can see this linear model here, 4 volts, 30 milliamp, right? I drag it into my schematic, and uh, it looks ugly, only, ha only has two ports. So if I want to make it look better, I can actually double click it. And from the symbol tab, I can change this symbol to, let's see if there is any better thing. Okay, here we go. BJT, right? So we can we can change it to this BJT symbol, but this only changes the the, the look of this some uh, of this element, but it doesn't change the performance. Still, we are talking about the linear model of the Infinium 740 transistor, and now I have to add ports. So, uh, how can I add port? Control, control P, great, thank you. And I make a connection, this is input port, and I can add output port. If I want to rotate it, what should I do? Right click, yes, thank you. And I make the con connection, very simple. And uh, go back to the graph, I can add a new graph. And now we are talking about circles. So I go to Smith chart, right? And uh, let's take noise figure as an example. Noise figure circle. Smith chart, okay. And I add a new measurement. And now this is linear simulation. So this we have to be very careful. Now we are doing linear simulation, right? And uh, under linear we have circle options. And I have noise figure circle. Right? Okay, so we can add this. But before I add noise figure circle, let me do one thing that we frequently ignore. We have to go to project option and set up the frequency um, I'm looking at, right? So in this case, let's say we do a simulation for 2.4 gigahertz single frequency case, and also remember to click apply. So now this is 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, and uh, for noise figure circle, I add a measurement. I'm gonna measure, do linear measurement, circle, noise figure circle, and uh, the two ports should be coming from the circle schematic, right? And the step size, let's say 0.2 dB, which means different circles will have a difference of 0.2 dB on noise figure, okay? and uh, click OK, run simulation. Here we go, we have a circle. But how can I change the number of circles? Let's say, oops, let's uh, bring out the property of noise figures circle simulation. Okay, here we go, we can change the number of circles. We can plot two circles, four circles, three circles, let's say three and now we have three circles, right? And the center actually gives us the minimum noise figure, the best noise figure. 
and uh, from there goes out, the difference between adjacent circle should be 0.2 dB. All right, does this make sense? Okay, great. But uh, actually, this doesn't cover everything for the homework. You've got to figure out uh, what is the meaning of the gain circles. So this is uh, your work to do, okay? Gain circle and also finish the stability circle. And if you are not familiar with this, uh, with, with the names and the functions, uh, uh, get to the information page of AWR. It's very helpful. It, it tells you what is a function. All right? Any question? No? Great. All right, thank you.